Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to add splash screen in Android project. So, so first of all create a new project in Android Studio and rename your main activity to splash activity. Also create another empty activity and name it as home activity. Then in the build.gradle file add this dependency. This will make available Android 12 library for using. In this project we will use this animated vector drivable. I have downloaded this drivable from the official website. The link is given in the description. When you create a new project in Android Studio, these two themes are created, which are applicable for the whole application. But we will create two new separated themes for splash screen to keep the things more clear. So right click on values folder, new and values resource file and give it a name for example splash underscore theme and click OK. And copy this code to customize the splash screen behavior. Here I am giving a name to the theme, theme dot splash screen theme. You can give it any name and setting its parent to theme dot splash screen. Then I am changing splash screen background color to purple and setting animated icon to this drivable. So this icon will be animated in the splash screen. Then I am setting animation duration to 1000 millisecond. This attribute is mandatory in Android 12 while in 13 it is inferred from the animation time of the drivable. Its value should be equal or greater than the animation time of the drivable. For example, if, any, if this icon is animated in 1 second, then this value should be equal to 1 second or greater. If you keep this value less than the animation time of the icon, then you will not get the required effect. And there I am setting post splash screen theme to app general theme. Basically this is the theme that has been created while creating the project. So this is the theme which is applicable for the whole application. This means that after splash screen this theme will continue. Now I am duplicating this theme for night mode as well. So right click on values folder again, go to new and values resource file and give it exactly the same name splash underscore theme and from here select night mode and click OK. Now copy this code and place it here. So we have created two themes, one for day and one for night mood for the splash activity. Now in the manifest file, I am applying this theme to splash activity. Now coming towards splash activity, here call install splash screen method before set content view. So this will add a splash screen to this activity. To make the flow much better, here I am blocking 
the main threat by calling run blocking coroutine builder and calling this method inside this coroutine. So this will block the main thread while the splash screen icon animation is executing and after animation completion here I am giving a delay of some time for example 800 millisecond this will make the flow much better. Now coming towards the layout of splash activity here you can see an image view and two text view. We will animate this image view from top to bottom while this text view from bottom to top and in the splash activity here we have created two animation top animation and bottom animation. This will animate a view from top to bottom while this will animate a view from bottom to top. These are custom animations that I have created in, in this activity. In this line I am applying this animation to the image view and here I am, I am applying bottom animation to the text view. Then before go to home activity we have to wait for these animations to get completed. For that I am creating a coroutine by using launch coroutine builder and calling delay function. In this much time these animations will get completed and here I am giving some extra time to go more smoothly to home activity. So our project is ready and I am going to run it. So the project has been run successfully. Let me show you the demo. This is the project that I have installed. So let's run it. So you can see that icon is animating and after that our custom animations were run. Image view was animated from top to bottom while text view was animated from bottom to top. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you.